A South Metro cycling group has reacted this afternoon to charges filed against this Spalding County man. He is accused of intentionally running into cyclists who rode past his house. Fox House Doug Evans reports from Henry County. Here are some of the photos that they say are part of the Henry County Police investigation. One shows a woman face down after she and her cycling group say this man, David Harper, plowed into the group after they had cycled past his house. Woody Morgan was there that day, says Harper and his grandson were waiting for the group because they ride past their house every Tuesday night about the same time. It was very violent, um, and it's, it's somebody who thinks that they absolutely own that road. Road, as he told us, that he paid the taxes on that road and that we shouldn't be on it. The 66-year-old Harper was charged with aggravated assault, criminal damage to property, aggressive driving, reckless conduct, and terroristic threats. The cyclists say after striking the woman, Harper threatened to kill them all. The incident happened back in August on Jordan Hill Road. Attorney Bruce Hagen of Bike Law says they're preparing a civil suit against Harper. More so, we want to make sure that the community at large knows and understands that cyclists have a legal right to be out on the road, that these are human beings, the people who are involved here, these are moms and dads and nurses and teachers and coaches and mechanics, and they're just regular people the community who all they want to do is have an opportunity to be out, enjoy the road, and get back home to their families. Sentiments echoed by Allison Goodman, a cyclist and a mother of three from Locust Grove. I always say a prayer before a ride for safety because these three kiddos are on the forefront of my mind every single time. State law says cars must give cyclists three feet when passing. In Henry County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.